Hello, everybody. It's your boy Cryptic Hints. We're back. We're here for the Charlotta tutorial that I that I did like six months ago. Said I was gonna put on YouTube. Forgot to put on YouTube, and now we're here doing it again. So, uh, yeah, with us we have the best Charlotta players in NA, hands down. Alex Smith and Zeram joining us today. Yo. Thanks, for thanks for having us. Thank you for joining. It, it's I know that I'm the I'm the odd one out. I'm the one like you guys are the legends. Y'all the ones placing at all these oh, tournaments, man. and I'm just a loud voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just a loud voice who happens to uh to to also play Charlotta. Can't sleep on cryptic though. So. <laughs> that's why that's why I'm happy that you guys are here with me today. To, to, so when I say something wrong, you've got to be like, nah, you're an idiot. That doesn't work. <laughs> so, past me already recorded all the normals and whatnot. Thanks, future me. Here, we're just going to go over all Charlotte's normals because that's a very long process. That's mostly a bunch of numbers that we're not going to do on stream because that's going to be really boring and uh, nobody's going to watch it. So, here we are. So, we're going to go over all of our normals one by one. So, let's start with, we have close light. That's going to be plus two on block and plus six on hit. Very easy. We got close medium. That's minus four on block and it's even on hit. Then we have close heavy. That's minus two on block and plus two on hit. We have her auto combo, which is minus three. And this is minus four plus one. No, minus one and then even on block. Otherwise, if it's on hit. Then we have her far light, which is minus five on block and minus one on hit. We have our far medium, which is minus six on block and minus two on hit. Then we have this abomination of a normal, which is far heavy, which is minus five on block and minus one on hit. And it's 24 frame startup and don't, don't use that move. Don't, don't do it. Next, we have her other buttons, her crouching buttons. We have two light. We have two light, which is minus two on, oh no, plus two on block and plus six on hit. We have two M. That is minus two on block and plus two on hit. Then we have this other button that's really good as an anti air now, but not, not good in any other situation. Minus 13 on block, minus nine on hit. It can also be charged. So it can go from 14 frame startup to 27 frame startup, but it moves you forward a little bit. So I guess that's something. We have a sweep, it's a sweep. Ain't doing nothing bad, ain't doing nothing good. Minus nine on block, nine frame startup, it's okay. Now we have her jumping buttons. That's jumping light. That's jumping medium. That's jumping heavy. Some of these can cross up sometimes. Don't count on it, except for medium. Medium likes to cross up. If you can get a jumping cross up heavy, don't count on that happening all the time. And then there's JU. A good air to air. A good air to air. But other than that, you're not using it very often. Then we have her 5U. We'll get back to that in a little bit. It's a, for now we can just say that it is a counter. So, you know, go with that and just know that's what it is. It's a counter. Does good. All right. Next, she has a universal overhead. That's what it looks like. It does just like what every other universal overhead does. Minus four on block, plus one on hit. You already know. And that covers all of her normals. Now, let's talk about her special moves. She has a uh, Blanc Ball, AKA Shining Onslaught. Three strengths, light, medium, heavy. Light is minus four. Medium is minus 12. EX is minus four. You have her DP, which is minus eight at best in all of situations. At worst, light is minus 10 if they stand block it. Medium is minus, medium is minus nine if they stand block it. And EX is minus eight at all times. Next she has Sword of Lumiel. That's medium version. This is light version. This is EX. 
Light version is minus two on block. Medium, my, plus one on block. EX, plus four on block. Pretty decent moves. And then there's Noble Strategy. The Demon Flip. That is the light version. Light version is plus one on block. And then gets better with how low you space it. Then there's the medium follow-up, which is minus on block, minus three. Don't listen to that thing's advantage. It is not it is not plus on block. Probably if I Interesting. So if you do EX, it is uh, plus one on block. So keep that in mind. And then you have her command grab. Five frames of startup. It's nice. And then last, we have the slide. That is, I think, minus seven for the most part. So that covers just about everything for her specials. Last, we have. The super, which is minus 20, I believe. And then, her SSBA, which is really good for catching people who try to jump over you. Even if you don't get both hits, it'll still be a good way to stop people from jumping over you. And that should cover all of her moves. So now we can get back to future me who's going to go over everything else with this character. Thanks, past me! And we're going to get into, you know, specials, or not specials, combos, bread and butters, all that stuff. So, I think her most basic, basic of bread and butters, I'm not tapped in. Most basic of bread and butters is, you know, or if you want to put meter into it. But, like, it nope. actually combos. I think those yeah, are her most basic ones. I guess if you want to get more basic, you can do far light instead. Yeah, it's just a slightly easier link to do light instead of medium, but... If it's ever the difference between killing the opponent, <clears throat> you can yeah. always stabilize it with light. Yeah. Light is good for confirming the combo, but sometimes you do light, and then, uh, then they live with 1 HP. And then they make a comeback, and then you go, dang, I could have just did medium, and then and then you lost, and you got to hold that yeah. to the next round. If you double tap, medium is very consistent. Yeah. And also, it does the same damage, but if the opponent is crouching... I'm holding forward now. Yeah. You can also... Sweep. Sweeping is very good, because if they're in the corner... Play. If they're in the corner, that sweep makes a lot other com a lot of other combos much more possible, because uh, now they're higher up in the air. And instead of doing this, where you can't really get a follow up, doing sweep gets you a follow. -up. Yeah, and it moves you forward a little bit. So certain things become possible that wouldn't be possible with just medium with a, with a wall bounce, like if you. Uh... You did something like this, but you were farther out, mm -hmm. um, and you were gonna get the far medium after the wall bounce. Uh, that doesn't work. Yep. But oh, a little farther out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Where the far medium would whiff, make the DP whiff, I should say. Yeah. Alright, so that's her most basic of combos that you should know. Um, that Most combos are going to be derived from that, or some combination of those moves. Like, you can also do, like, stuff like that. Which is the same combo, just you reverse the uh, Sword of Luma Yell with uh, Shining Onslaught. It's good to know both ways, though, because... Uh, sometimes your cooldown won't be available. Yeah. 
Or your special move won't be available, it'll be on cooldown. Okay. So, uh, I think that covers her most basic of bread and butters. Her more advanced ones are a lot of crouching confirms, which she has some pretty good crouching confirms now. Thanks to uh, one change they gave her, which is uh, 2M being very good now and 4M being faster. So, hold on one second. Gonna get body for a quick second. So I need crouch counter hit. And then I want you to be crouching. Alright, so because of how they buffed 2M, you can now do combos like that. And more importantly, you can do combos like... Oops. You can do combos like that. Mm. And even from a crouching far distance. Only. Yeah, that is crouching only. And because of them buffing both of these things, you can now do combos like that. So... That is a very good tool for, you know, 2M being as decent of a poke as it is. And 4M getting buffed to be a little bit faster. Alright, let me put you back on. You know what 2M is on block? What is, uh, yes I do. It's minus 2, I think. Yeah, I think it's minus 2. Hmm. I'm just thinking of the pressure application. Mm -hmm. It's relatively yeah. safe. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine something like this threatening into a cancel would make yeah. it maybe viable as a, an option to take throw. Yep. Definitively, 2M is minus 2 on block, plus 2 on hit. Okay. So, but yeah. It's also something you can just use. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just something you can go use in neutral. Yeah. If and then you can just poke people with that. Yeah. You can just poke people out with it. And it moves you forward a little bit. So that's always good. Also, crouching confirms being the fact that you can now combo 2L into far M normally on crouching opponents. That is just a combo now. So that is very useful to know. So that is going to be, if you get that, then you're just going to go into a EX Blanca ball like that. Also, it's also very important to know your jab confirms. That is a very important combo to know, because not all the time will you be able to get a full auto combo or just confirm off of heavy for some reason. So, if you don't want to get that, then knowing your jab confirms are useful. It'll get you these kind of combos. Basically, you can, from uh, even pretty far away, you can do multiple crouch lights into a stand light mm -hmm. and then medium ball. Or yep. sorry, heavy or light ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not medium ball. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. And also, I'm pretty sure if anybody, if any of you have watched my stream, you know about the meme infinite that I that I made that everyone started doing. The... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, button ball. Yeah, the light ball, light ball, light ball, light ball. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. It's fake, but it's nice to know. And if I you're mean, good at charging, real, it hit. oh, it's real. All <laughs> yeah, right. If, if, if <laughs> Very the ball true. hits, then you get to check them with light. Mm -hmm. yeah, much the practical guaranteed. application. Yeah, and because you're both zero on hit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Your opponent is not ready to actually press a button in that situation. Yeah, the you only downside is. Like the only downside is if they decide they don't want to deal with that and they just DP. Right. So that's a big guess. And then and then if you guess right and then you uh, do it and then you block it, well then, you know, they just kind of die there. So I think that covers most of their combos. Uh, it, it's worth noting that her close light is so plus on hit that it combos <laughs> in a close medium. Yep. You can frame trap with this, and also you get a confirm out of it. Yep, and that combo's on standing points too, so that's good yes. to know. That's you really can good. also shift from close uh, light to uh, low, uh, close L. I'm oh, sorry, uh, two M, two L, and then go to uh, far uh, close five L, like that. Yeah. Oh, I actually didn't use that. I mean, I don't see why not, because you can do two crouch lights if you're dashing. 
Yeah. yeah. Same thing with uh, two close outs. You could do it like mm -hmm. that, yeah. Her proximity for her uh, close M is actually very good, so. Yeah. <clears throat> She's one of the few characters that can actually stagger you up close with lows, and it still goes for her auto combo. Yep. Yeah. It's really strong. How many yeah. people get opened up by this? <laughs> oh my god, right? <laughs> People get nervous when Charlotte is in. Once she's in, you know, pressing buttons, that's when it gets uh, kind of scary. People trying to jump, people standing up, people trying to mash, you know? Oh, people trying to jump all the time. Yeah, all that. While it is true on hit, um, they can DP in between the, uh, before the medium comes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, there's, there's a gap. Any frame trap like that. You know, you leave a gap for them to mash and get uh, blown up for. Yeah. <laughs> Mashing oh. in, and but it also leaves a gap for them to. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and then sometimes, be. and also with uh, the buff to this, uh, meaning that now if someone spot dodges it, you're just minus and not you know able to be punished now, which yeah, I, I think, think that is a buff. I always thought of that. I think it buff. depends. No, it's, it's actually straight up buff. Yeah, it's a straight up buff. Because now I'm just minus, and I just press a button there. Punish? <laughs> that wasn't a punish. See? Huh. She can't actively be punished for it now. Oh, you have to... Wait. No, it's minus four. Work. It's minus four. Huh. You can't punish it. Cool. Yep, so that is a straight up buff. So now you don't have to worry about, you know, getting hit by that. And even so, even you do, you can also RPS and just go, you know, DP and just, you know, you can kind of RPS with that. It's it's a buff and a nerf, I think, because they can take your turn if they dodge there, whereas mm -hmm. before they would get hit for dodging. Well, they could spot dodge twice and then it was kind of their they turn. They could do it twice, yeah. Or you can just spot just... dodge DP. Yeah. yeah. Oh, spot, oh, spot dodge DP was the worst thing. I hated spot dodge DP. Yeah. Now they can't do that anymore, so... True. That's why I say it's a buff. If you actually whip it, you know, mm -hmm. you get it by accident, then yeah. you're not just <laughs> doing all five hits. <laughs> yeah. uh, instead of watching this whole thing play out and someone just running up. <laughs> on whiff, so bad. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. So other than that, I think going. I think the only other combo-related thing we have left to do is any air combos, which on Charlotta uh, is, is is obnoxious because she's she's so she jumps so fast and my anti air is so slow <laughs> and it's yeah. so slow it's so slow and then you don't get a cat. So I'm gonna do a thing really quick. You can also use close heavy, but you have to make sure that you're close enough. Yeah. If you get far heavy when you're trying to anti-air, <sighs> then you just immediately die. <laughs> that is a that's a sad time when they jump in, you get far heavy, and then it's like, well, guess yeah. I'll die now. But when you're sure, it's it's a bit faster. Right. And you get an even better follow-up from it. Yeah, you can get stuff like, you know, two heavies which do a lot of damage. Yeah, if you're in the corner, then you get a follow-up from that. I have been a big fan of the 2H anti-air because I used to do it. I know I just dropped it and all, but the fact that it used to be, you know, no head and vault at all, and then yeah, they I just gave it garbage. head and vault, I think it's so good. <laughs> I think it's still garbage. <laughs> Fair. It's, it's not very fast, but it covers a pretty wide range, and you also don't have to worry about being close enough. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this oh. is one of her anti air combos that uh, I know Zeram does. Whatever he does, 2H. He'll do um, 2H. Noble execution into that. That doesn't combo, though. I'm gonna have to learn that, Mike. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. You generally have to cash out pretty fast. Yeah. Another thing she can do that is a little bit harder she can do um, anti air 2H, A follow up. Sweep into super, and that's a lot harder to do. This is very difficult to do, and I'm probably not gonna be able to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, that is possible. I would recommend going for it. It's very tight to get to sweep afterwards. 
But that's her one of her anti air routes. One that I typically will go for. Not that. Is I'll usually go for a light ball afterwards. And then if you time it late, you get the light ball as a follow up. If you time it early, you can get this as a mix up afterwards. Five uh, H there will be meaty after that, so it will not be their turn. I'm doing all the wrong buttons. But that's mostly her two main anti air routes. She also can do this. Mid screen that's not going to get you much. In the corner, you can at least do. Oops. Forgot to actually, you know, do the input. How does she jump backwards? Nice. Yeah. She gets that kind of stuff. Now, because of the nerf to the command grab. The combo will be, you know, scaled, but it's still 5.5. Still good so damage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say it's worth noting as well that if you get a counter hit, 2H or 5H, and you don't want to spend other special moves, or if you don't have them, you can just dash up into 5M. Yeah. Or sweep, actually. Yeah, true. I usually go for that, actually, if I get a, a Pulse Heavy or 2H and here, mm -hmm. just dash 5M into ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and something that is also worth talking about uh, that a lot of people don't know, Charlotta's uh, command grab functions based off of height. She can grab you in a lot of different places. She can grab you from the head. She can grab you from about the neck. And then she can grab you from close to the midsection. From the midsection, you can get a standing heavy off of that. But you have to grab them very low. That's and that's very the, hard. It's extremely hard. You get two H's. Yep. That's my most damaging route. That's five Used H to be, twice. Yeah. <laughs> Not two H. <laughs> yeah. That's her most damaging route for a uh, command grab. I think her most damaging combo in general is off of this. And I think this is her most damaging route. Ah, uh, she can get more off anti-air close heavy. But that's about it. That's probably the only... The only other high damaging combo? Yeah, the only starter that does more. Nice! It's not easy. It's not easy because you're using close age? <laughs> but, it's, but it's worth it. You can yeah, get you're right! 7k! 7, so yeah, those yeah, are all her most... You know, I think those are her most advanced combos. Most <clears throat> the most interesting property to know about her uh, close heavy is that it launches opponents upwards. So it throws off the timing of a lot of combos depending on the height that you hit them at. Very true. And anytime they use a heavy in a combo, um, one combo specifically that I know um, this has happened for is if you're going for combos like this and you do heavy, they're actually higher. So like in most cases, some supers will whiff. If you do heavy in um, some combos, they'll actually fall out way sooner because they're being popped up higher. Yeah, Whereas you if you to, use medium, they're lower to the ground. You have to be careful about that and sometimes delay before you press the button. Yep. All right, so that's her combos from start to finish. Now I, I, would, I would suggest uh, showing people how to, to attack on damage using multiple special moves. Hmm. In that case, let me put you back on. I won't rob you of your uh, of your player two. You still got it? Yeah, you still got it. I guess you could say. I mean, you can start with with ball or sword, really. Mm -hmm. but it depends. Either um, or, it's situational dependent. So a very basic combo would be swords into ball. Mm -hmm. Or even before that, you could just do B. Um. Or you could end with ball. Yeah. 
Or if you had to, if you're mid screen, you could end with swords into just a button. If they're uh, if crouching, you only had the one special move. And if, if they're crouching, you could sweep. Instead. Yeah, you can end with sweep, which is something that I like to do. Here, yeah, crouch really sure. quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fuck. I like to end with sweep and then run them closer to the corner. Yeah, you get a media after that. Yeah. Um. So you can use any one of the three. Or, uh. For auto combo, it's gonna be double. Yeah, for, for auto combo, it's a medium ball, also. Good. Yeah. But you need the corner push. True. Uh, but you can you can use two moves by doing swords into the ball. Or if they're. Uh, can you do. If you're crouching and in the corner, I think you can maybe sweep DT. Yeah, you can. Yeah. But mid screen, you can't. Oh, I forgot the most important combo. Like that. I forgot the most important combo. Can you throw really quick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most important combo! <laughs> I can't believe I dropped that. That is one of her most important combos because, man, getting people to tech throws is very easy. You can do slightly more damage if you do two hits of the auto combo, yeah. and then you link close heavy instead of sweeper. Uh, Alex has told me that a thousand times, and I have consistently been like, I, well, I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's more damage, and it feels good to, to link the close heavy. It's yeah. It's just not, it's not a ton more, but... But for, it is more. Yeah. It is a difference between is. one HP losses and, uh, you know, winning. Yeah, sometimes it comes down to that last hit, so mm -hmm. it's definitely worth worth doing. Mid screen the overhead combo is slightly different though. Oops. Mm. Try to be fancy and do the. <laughs> oh, you try to do the. <laughs> oh if my you... god! It's a very very small thing to note, but if you DP, it's yeah. ten ten fifty. But yeah. if you charge... Oh, no, it's only the medium one, right? Yeah. Actually, no, it's not even showing. Oh, it's because I'm player yeah, one. I'm player, yeah. I'm player two. 900. And then 1,400 like for both. 100 damage difference. Yeah. For the the light and medium mm -hmm. version. So slightly more if you do the actual charge. So if you, you can link... Uh, medium into the the charge version, it does more damage. Yep. <laughs> but it's pretty hard to do. There's also a combo that I'm not even gonna bother bringing up like that. because of how inconsistent it is. But um, yes, you can in fact combo off of white DP if they get hit at the very top and it's a counter hit and you land first. Yes, you can do that. Don't actually really? try to go for that. Yeah, you can well, totally do that. that. Work? Yeah, exactly. It's very <laughs> There's rare, so it many. You can get a standing light off of it. Don't go for it. It doesn't actually work. Wow. You... Probably notably, you yeah, notably, the most char the character that gets hit by it the most is usually Lancelot because he's usually up in the air. Yeah. So, like, he'll leave or whatever. Try super jumping. Uh, ultra situational. It's extremely situational. They have to be at the peak of your, their jump. Your DP has to hit one time going up with going down. They need to get popped up, and then and then you can get the combo. Good luck. Yeah, right? <laughs> you see what I mean? It's a yeah. combo that exists. Don't actually go for it. Anyway. So I think... The, yeah, yeah, go on. Most common... Three special move combo would be that. Yeah. You can do EXDP if you want the hard knockdown. Um, I personally don't like going for EXDP because then you lose all your special moves and all you have left is Demon Flip. And, uh, yeah, you know what people like doing? Anti-airing Demon Flip. You know what's really yeah. easy to do when you see they have only Demon Flip available? Anti-air Demon Flip. <laughs> fun. Um... It's worth noting the damage on this and the medium version are the same. Also, something that is also very worth noting, um, medium DP is technically a little bit more, it's a little bit better 
to end your combos with than EX. Why, you ask? Because this is two hits. This is more hits. However, because this is so many hits going up, this, um, going up, this can trigger combo limit going up and then whiff coming down. But that uh, does not yeah, happen with medium. Yeah, if you hit combo limit, <laughs> you're gonna be sad. Um, so, I think that covers everything about combos? It's a good start, at least. Alright. Mm -hmm. I think mix up. That's. We went I mean, over crotch confirms. Counter hit combos. Yeah. Counter hit, uh, combos. counter hit combos, which are, you know, mostly. Oh, yeah. Me and then meaty combos if you get a sweep. And then you run if you get, like, the close heavy meaty. And then you can get, like, 5M after that, whether they're blocking it or not. Or whether they it's counter hit or not. One of her most important counter heavy, hit. heavy. Oh, heavy, heavy, heavy is, yeah. Yeah. Counter hit. One of her most important counter hit combos happens in the corner, though. If she counter hits light ball. <clears throat> oh, oh, my God. God. Yeah, she can follow up with auto combo light. Yeah. I love doing, um, if they counter hit with light ball, you can do, um, jab into EX ball. Oh, another combo that I've done exactly one time and never got a video of. Um, counter hit medium ball. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You can do combos like that. Huh. And you can make the medium ball meaty. But they have to be just a little bit out of the corner. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely learning. <laughs> 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 You're like, I've never seen that before! Definitely some things here that I've never seen before. Yeah, light ball does combo. And, um... That also is a combo. It's a bit tight. I think that works better no. on crouch. Is that a crouching only, or no? No, that was the true combo right there. Oh, it was? I know that. No, you messed it up, but... Yeah. There we go. Right there. That is a combo. One thing that I'll, I'll also mention, um, mm -hmm. and this applies to Grand Blue in general, I would say, as a good rule of thumb, if you're doing uh, only one special move in a combo, then doing full auto combo will do the most damage. But if you're using two or more special moves in your combo, uh, something like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Like that, or even three, like that. Uh, the fewer number, the, the lower the number of hits in your auto combo, the more damage you're going to do. True, because so auto combo if you do all heavily scales. Hits, yeah. It will heavily scale you your combo. Hits, and then you do that, and then you do three hits again. It does much less damage than if you were to do something like since I have uh yeah you can show it yeah so look at the damage on that 3475 and then just do everything with one hit I'm, I'm sorry guys well all right I'm you sorry guys I'm sorry guys I'm sorry yeah it does significantly more damage so yeah. it's just something to, to, to know. Whenever I see someone end a combo with, you know, multiple hits of auto combo, unless it's to set up something like that, yeah, uh, usually you wouldn't want to do more than one, or or you know two if you need to get closer, or or if you're ending a cooldown. You know, there are situations where it makes sense, but if you're just looking for damage fewer hits the better if you're doing uh, multiple special moves. If you're doing just one, uh, doing something like this isn't going to do as much damage as doing that. Alright, and there is... I think that covers every possible combo there is. <laughs> I think that <laughs> is there every there single one. one. No, there is not. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely a lot more that we haven't gone over. Yeah, but those are, like, 
beyond impractical. I saw a combo where somebody did a Charlotta sweep into uh, Rapid Slash and it made it hit behind her. Here. I think other than that, mostly you there's. Also, oh, yeah? You can also mention that uh, Demon Flip Sweep <clears throat> combos into Far 5M. Yeah, it does. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Alex! <laughs> yeah, let's go over that! <laughs> My hand just moves to that. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Yeah, in the corner, she'll always get a follow up from Demon Flip Sweep. Mid screen, though, um, I believe on counter hit, she can uh, only follow up with Far 5 in. Yeah. And I don't know if you can get a. Yeah, you don't get it mid screen. I think mid screen only... it has to be counter hit. Yeah, only on counter hit mid screen. Oh! Mm -hmm. I am mad at- Alright, future, hey, future me, cut that out of the video. Nobody no, needs to see that. No. Future me, cut that out. <laughs> That's not an actual, um, buggy answer. Though. Like, if you do- Yeah. Then, yeah. I still could be upset when I- do, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Alright, but, um, other than that, we can talk about mix-up stuff, which, you know, most of it is- Demon flip stuff. <laughs> Anything like off of Oki, like any Oki into Demon flip, like going into A version makes it a safe jump. Which you know, if uh, if you're fighting anyway with a DP, you can do a safe jump with A version to uh, make yourself plus. But if they do a DP, you can still block. The cancel sweep. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you control like it. There you go. <laughs> so there's that as an option, and then because that is an option, now you have other options like this as an option. You can make people. What? Know that. Future me. Cut that out. Cut it out of the video. <laughs> Cut it out. We don't need to see that either. <laughs> Anybody who wants to stand up, thank you. If you got grabbed out of that, I would have been so mad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, command grabs off of wake up. And if you're feeling, if you're really feeling frisky, you can try to go for the low. But I wouldn't recommend that because that's, you know, a lot of, a lot of time for you to be DP'd. But if you're really in their, if you're really in their head and you just know that this is going to work, go for it. Hey, if they're standing up, you know. Um, another thing that I want to talk about for mix-ups, um, I know that they're I was standing up late. Especially. Yeah, I know I do this a lot, and um, it's uh, throw loops. You can do a lot of throw loops off of people if they don't know the timing. Oh jeez! And then you can do like this is a fake safe jump into a throw. You can do this into 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 throw. Hey, that's, that's copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, I, that one is you. That one is you. That's the Alex Smith special. Also, this is not- I Delete that future. Yeah, future future cryptic. Future cryptic, do not, do, don't show them that one. <laughs> uh, if you do medium ball though, it becomes a meaty. Medium ball into light is a meaty. Light ball into light is a fake meaty. So, more things. And like I said, you can loop these a lot of times over and over. And I like to do light here because the attack is just out there and they have to look at it. And they have to know it's coming. So they'll block it and then if they don't, and if they uh, you know aren't ready for it, you can throw. Active until it wins. Yep. And the other one that I like doing personally is, um, I've done this a lot of times and it works so often. You can do sweep, meaty, into another demon flip. Oh, that's dirty. And the last one that I personally like doing is when you're pressuring people and you're like, uh, want to go up for a tick throw and they know you want to go up for a tick throw. Demon flip as a way to bait it out. Yeah. I've done that a lot, and it works very, it works pretty often, and you get people who want to, you know, tech the throw. Even if they don't tech, because 
they're dealing with your pressure. They're looking for several different things. Mm -hmm. So I would say they're less likely to anti air the, the demon flip unless they had kept it in the back of their mind. Another reason why this is good <laughs> is because when people see you run up and they go for this, a lot of people like jabbing or like doing two two L or two M. That was weird. They do two L or two M, and this will go over those. So that's that's also good to know. That's also a good tool to have. If they don't tech, you can see that and just press light. Yeah, and then press light, press kick. medium, press anything really. If you if you dive kick, then your pressure is still there. Yep. It's still your turn. Those those are my those are my mix ups. What do you guys got? <laughs> Share your secrets. It covers a lot. <laughs> Dang! No one else wants to share any mix ups. <laughs> I mean, I'll let Alex go. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm pretty sure the world already knows my most dangerous mix up. Is it this one? <laughs> <laughs> Jab into a forward. Up forward. You know, for the longest time, a lot of people going, Yo, that's unblockable. You can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh oh, so. Common one is the reset. Yeah! yeah meaty one, that's a very good one. Um, yeah. Yeah. You get uh, meaty. Yeah, two and hits into uh, Demon Flip. Uh, EX Demon Flip, I know, gets you the meaty. You do one, two, or three, depending. That's usually how I do it. Yeah. That's a good way to set it up, though. Mm hmm. Uh, that was weird. Anyway. You know what's funny? Is another thing I've seen Alex do quite often. Is that! I was just about to say that! <laughs> <laughs> Footsie range sweep into any or overhead. I've seen Alex do this a lot, and I'm like, man, you ain't hitting nobody with that. Then I played him right. offline, and then I was getting hit by it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I mean, pretty much everyone can do it, but yeah, Shalatus so goes pretty decently far, honestly. Especially since people know how to deal with it. Yeah, especially <laughs> since you know her sweep is forward advancing, it makes it go that much farther. Yeah, her sweep is very good. You can, you can cancel it into sword or overhead, which has a huge gap. But if people aren't paying yeah. attention. Yeah. And they get hit by it. Or worse yet, if they press the button and they get counter hit by it, then you get um, R5M oh, yeah. ball. Um, you could cancel it into ball, which is negative but safe. Yeah. Uh, if you do light or heavy. And if, you, if you're ready to roll the dice, you could cancel it into the. Oh, that is, all, that is definitely rolling the dice! Oh yeah, my I god! Mean, People aren't always looking for that, but mm -hmm. it all depends. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is good too. That's also pretty good. Also, um, that it should be mentioned that that is a 50-50 because off of this, you can cross up, but also you can stay on the same side. You can just take a quick step back. And if you don't, it's a cross up. Huh. Uh, it's like, I didn't know that. I mean, you can do that. Yeah. I feel like you should be able to see the step, but I'm. The half know. step. <laughs> yeah. But maybe not. If if you step, then they can mash on you, though. Right. And also, if you do anything other than immediate step into uh, close standing light, then they can mash. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I don't think you can mash this, though. If I back throw you, I do this. Nope. I meant. <laughs> oh, mash, <laughs> mash, mash, not, 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 mash, not that. Got I it. I didn't mean uppercut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe she's at either uh, at least plus one or plus two on a roll after back throw. Yep. Actually, I wonder if you can uppercut. Even. Can you uppercut? You... Nah, you can't even uppercut it. If I block. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is Charlotta we're talking yeah, about. We're 11 Charlotta. frames, dude. Yeah, that's what Charlotta only thing. <laughs> Anybody with a real DP can hit her. True! <laughs> okay, so any 
character that isn't Fairy or Carlotta. Yeah. Oh, another player. thing that's worth talking not about. Not those two characters. Another thing that's worth talking about. Okay, can you do Far H really quick? That buff. <laughs> the buff oh, yeah, where before this, before that would just leave nothing. you. Yeah, that would just do nothing. Now it's actually useful, and it actually staggers them at a distance. It's not your turn anymore. It's not like super your turn and you can do whatever you want. But now it's like you have it, it, it can stagger people with really long normals that you used to struggle with. <laughs> And the fun thing about this, I had to test this out in a lot of different situations. And I think this is the f only one that I found that is consistent. And I'm sure there are plenty of other applications where this will actually happen. Alright, good guessing enough. You mean, I'm guessing you mean the aerial pause? Yeah, an aerial, an aerial button freezes them out of the air. And you actually get a mix-up off of that. Oops. If you don't proc the counter. And you actually do the Blanc Ball. Huh? That jab is actually meaty. So, more things that she has that is useful to know. So, Zerum, you got any uh, mix ups you want to share with the class? Taking notes over here. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a few mix ups, but I don't have to stick, so I can't really yeah. demonstrate them. Oh, don't worry, we can close this game and start it back up. You ain't said nothing at all. <laughs> Yeah, if you just go to the main menu. So in general, uh, let me see what I'm looking for. Battle, right? Why not? All right. Go ahead and set you to crouching. All right. So one of my primary mix-ups uh, setting up for a, a decent meaty is on crouching only. Oops, uh, hang on. Oh, that's the wrong one, actually. So, on a crouching opponent, if you get slashes, you can go to uh, sweep into flip. Oh, yeah. Medium version. That's this light. Is, uh, this is light. light oh, light version. Sorry. Light version goes right. the higher is the higher one. Right. Light, medium, and then the EX, obviously. Yeah. However, uh, so, if you go immediately into light flip, you'll whiff. Oh, my God. I know this. However, if you go delay it slightly after the hit, you get oh, a meaty sweep. Oh, the meatiest. Uh, Maddie has that consistent. Oh, that's so, oh, it's so hard to do for a little. I I had to lab that for like thirty minutes to get it, like at a fifty yeah. percent time. Back in season one, uh, she automatically guaranteed oh, it off of every uh, single sweep. time. Yeah, every sweep. But now, uh, post patch, you have to wait a few frames after the sweep. Yeah. That's kind of block. Yeah, that's kind of it's cool. plus three, I think. Yeah, so you can't you can't match through it. Huh. Uh, good. It so you plus good. Uh, press a button after that. It is very vulnerable to DPS, however. But yeah. that's where the secondary uh, mix comes in, where you do layers. Yeah, yeah. Got layers. A very late uh, stinger. Mm-hmm. To bait out DPs, but that that's just one of the yeah that always work. Uh, alternatively, another mix that I usually do uh, you've probably seen that a lot is that um, when I hit confirm my super in the corner generally that yeah base um, DPs so, yeah base DPs they base every option basically mm -hmm. uh, they can't reverse or whatever but uh, if they're respecting the dive generally. Uh, then you can grab after that. So, super into EX flip, grab, the uh, staple mix up that I typically do. Um, after conditioning that, I'll generally do something different like uh, overhead if they think I want to grab or maybe input dump. Uh, the mix up itself isn't, I would say, completely true because it can be beaten out if they, uh, depending on the character. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I've lost that situation. Uh, the timing is off. But if you go for an instant stinger every time, then um, you won't really lose anything. You can also whiff medium ball after super to get a medium, even yep. mid screen. Yep, that'll get you a medium. Yep. Really valuable, especially mid screen. Had already set. Alright, there we go. 
And then, of course, the most optimal uh, <clears throat> mix-up that she has in her arsenal comes from her jump. Because her jump is a lot faster than uh, most characters and doesn't travel as high, she can quickly uh, size pop against a lot of characters. Of course, it's not a very uh, completely viable mix because the block button exists in this game. But mm -hmm. I enjoy crossing up multiple times with her uh, fast jump. <laughs> 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 The way he said it. <laughs> I love it. I love doing it. He enjoys it. Yes. <laughs> Something just so pure about it. <laughs> you have to see him play. Like for those of us. Imagine. For, for, imagine an interviewer. <laughs> imagine someone interviewing him. Oh, so I saw you did jump and cross up and jump and cross up again, and then you did jump and cross up again. Was there something you were baiting? Like, did you know he was gonna do something? I just like doing it, man. Absolutely. Not. Nope. <laughs> I just like doing it. It's fun. <laughs> they let me do it, so I did it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it is in the mental stack uh, battle, honestly. Um, <laughs> a lot of players typically start uh, panicking. So once you feel like you have the advantage, you can start doing, you know, stuff that really shouldn't work or is obnoxious to throw them off. Yep. I'm shocked but at that's that. But that. that's kind of how I enjoy playing my games. <laughs> Which I think if leads I us into our uh, last thing. How each of us approach neutral. And I can sum well, mine up very easily. Yeah. Kind of like that. <laughs> it's going to look something like that. My go my my job is to yeah. like I what I like to do is I like to you know hold forward and just overwhelm my enemy with anything possible. I like use uh balls to get in to try to beat normals. If I think they're gonna press a normal, I just try to ball in. And once I get in, that's when I just kinda start doing a lot of stagger pressure and uh, you know, a lot of stuff like that. Oh no, you help. Reaction tech. <laughs> I'll do stuff like that. And then another thing is when I get them into the corner, I kind of put myself at a place where I think they would want to jump out. And when they do, I have my SBA usually ready. Or I can just, you know, jump and air throw them just to, you know, keep them in the corner. It's but, good answer, air combos. Yeah, That's my so biggest thing is just overwhelming my opponent with all my aggression and making them have to play to my speed. All I need, my goal is I just need to get in one time. And once I've gotten in, it should be lights out from there. <laughs> Word. It's pretty much the polar opposite of how I play. I know! <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on the matchup. I mean, if if I feel like I can get away with it, if I feel like I can just go in and they're like, fairy. you know, they're not going to... Yeah. Well, <laughs> it depends upon the fairy. I mean, some you have to be very methodical, and some sky fairy. You, know, you can just go go nuts. But yeah, against a player like sky fair or maybe deity, mm -hmm. you know, you can't just go in. You have to. You have you to gotta respect them a little bit. Your spots to advance. Mm -hmm. Um, but in general, if I feel like I can overwhelm them in the neutral, then that's great. You know, you start your offense. But I feel like. This character actually can play neutral pretty well if if you know how to do it. It's it's not a like a, a true strong point of the character, but it's it's something she can do. With um she can whiff punish pretty well with, with far five M and and light into uh, heavy ball. Uh, it's, it's a great whiff punishing tool. Um and she has the farthest reach out of any character as far as uh, and light, far stand light, I want to say. One I think of them fairies. Is. Yeah. Fairy. Um, yeah. She cared as there. Maybe but... fairy. But other than other than fairy, probably the farthest reaching far standing light. Um, and it combos into to heavy ball, which gives you a knockdown. Uh, so it's... All right. Fairies doesn't combo to anything, so... Mm -hmm. as, as a reactive whiff punish... <clears throat> It's very yeah. good. Um, as a as a, a wish punish, so to speak. <laughs> like, um, a wish punish, I like that. Yes, with punish, it's it's less effective because it's a light, mm -hmm. and it can get crushed by mediums and heavies. I thought you said but, wish punish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that is what I said. Oh, yeah, all right, that's got what it. I call that when when you're when you pray when you're trying to with punish, <laughs> but it's not a pure reaction. It's 
you're the wish spot is. Choosing your spot and and uh, guessing that it's gonna work in a specific scenario. Mm -hmm. Call that a wish punish. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, you can wish punish pretty well with with those tools. Yeah. And then she can she can crush with yeah. I was gonna hope you can like whiff punish that like super easy. And or, a lot of people have even, long normals. Yeah. Even crouch heavy as a move to crush normals that reach very far but are mediums or light. It can actually work. Like if you're doing um R five M and then Zero M does two H Yeah, like there that. we go. <laughs> it's possible. It's not. It's not amazing. That's practically yeah. Yeah, but it, it is an option. All right. So, <clears throat> as far as my approach to the character goes and how I approach neutral, uh, my playstyle is more centered around focusing on my opponent's playstyle themselves and then adapting. I would say mid set to how they play. So my approach is a bit uh, crazier, or hmm. rather, adaptive. Mm -hmm. However, my notable offset compared to most Charlottes is that I'm usually always holding north. <laughs> <laughs> at, le at least he's like, aware of it. <laughs> and a lot of the times, it's not typically what I want to do, but it's how I kind of hold my controller or mm -hmm. how my controller operates. So I typically end up <laughs> jumping inadvertently, even when I don't want to jump. How my controller operates? Me, uh, <laughs> yeah, see, I glued, I glued up and forward on my controller, and it's uh, just how it works. <laughs> so I'm the kind of player who typically, I would do repetitive actions if I find myself uh, not punished actively for doing those actions. Or even if I am getting punished uh, for doing repetitive actions, I'll keep doing it uh, under the assumption that my opponent is not going to continue to punish me. Mm -hmm. uh, very common uh, against like opponents that are very good at anti-airing, such as uh, I would say Tega and Aquila. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to jump on wake up a lot if I feel like a, a meteor grab is coming, and then I'll get anti air But I'll do it again regardless because I feel like, all right, you got me once, but you're not going to get me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I think that covers, you know, even the neutral game. Um, I'd also note her sweep is very good, especially considering. I mean, Forward first advancing. of all, it's, it's a, yeah, it's an advancing low with with pretty good range. You can start your offense that way, and you can also, depending upon which special moves you have access to in the moment, you can cancel into something safe or something that, while unsafe, can st start your pressure. You know, if if you demon flip from sweep, you can start your pressure. If they block it, or if they get hit. But yeah, you can cancel into overhead, or you can cancel into the swords. Which even, you know, swords will make it plus on block. <laughs> now we're just having fun. Yeah. Also, <laughs> the fact that Zero, the fact that Zero <laughs> does counter on people's wake up. It's the most chat thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's the most giga chat thing I've ever seen any Charlotte do. And once I saw him do it, I'm like, I need to start doing that. <laughs> it plays into the uh, the mental stack factor of how <laughs> I kind of condition my opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like to make a lot of hard reads, even if they're like really out the there. Really smooth brain. <laughs> So instead of going for a safe medium wake up or something like that, yeah, <laughs> I was challenged with Perry. <laughs> <laughs> I just let him know. That's so funny. It's really good at beating people who like to uh, do fuzzy matches on wake up. Uh, Bisu in particular. Uh... <laughs> oh! 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 No. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> I'm not throwing a shade or anything, but. Because Belio has a 5 frame 2L, mm -hmm. it's very good to actually fuzzy match with it. But yeah. Bisu in particular, uh, fuzzy matches a lot uh, <laughs> when you're uh, applying a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he tends to be the person that gets hit by this the most. Ah, I see. Oh, yeah, makes sense. That's so funny. 
freaking hard call out. That is the world's Perry. hardest call out. And now with the buff to parry, I found myself using this in neutral a lot more. Just to stagger people and to make people respect, you know, just to let me get in. Especially on people like Percival and Fairy, who I have really long normals. Those matchups. Yeah. You can just you can just run up and toss it out and see what happens. And then they you just get in a little bit. Just get in a little bit suit like a little bit at a time. And now that you have this, you can just toss it out every now and again. And now they're gonna start pressing fewer buttons because they don't want to get countered. And it opens up more neutral. Yeah. Yeah, she has an interesting kit. She has a very interesting kit. Now, downsides. A lot of her kit can be countered. <clears throat> there used to be a definitive answer to everything. Now, Rapid Slash is a little bit harder to have a definitive answer to. Yes, you can spot dodge it now, and uh, you're, it's your turn. But mostly, Demon Flip is the, the one that is the... There's an answer to this for every single situation. The answer of ju just any air at five head. Unless it's, yeah, unless it's meaty. Yeah, and if it's meaty, then just hold the mix. Now, there is something that I will, I will disclose a secret. If you are in the corner, and you're not confident in your, uh, in your any air timings, don't stand up against it. Here, here's, here's the, here's the option you have to look at. The risk this, reward. this does 1.2k. That, if you duck, and you get overhead it, that's 1.2k. If you stand up against Demon Flip, your you're eating that. Your health is gone. Yeah. It's so let's wait. Let's do risk reward. Which looks better, 1.2 or all that? I've told people the same. <laughs> if you're really unsure, you just can, duck it. You can just duck because then you won't get hit by the empty low or the throw. Mm-hmm. I mean, the overheads add up, but... They do, but, you know... Yeah, it's not as catastrophic as getting... <laughs> as getting command grabbed in the corner! <laughs> it's extra life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anybody else got anything they want to add at all? Anything they want to talk about? Well, I think it's we can... really strong. I think we can call that, uh... We can call that for uh, right there. I think that we went over everything we needed to go over.